So to swap the pumps on these tractors, there's a little inspection cover right there. It has a spring clip cover that just pops off. And there's a hard line in there. You have to take off the top of the pump. Let me get a good shot of this. Yeah, there's the hard line. That has to come off. It is a huge pain in the butt. So that's one of the things you have to get. Forgive my video. But first, of course, you have to drain the fluid, which that huge bolt there is the drain plug. And you can see this belly inspection cover. I'm not getting a great shot of it, but there are four bolts. This belly inspection cover comes off and you can see the pump right in there. I'll try to get a better angle on this. There we go. You can see the pump on there. I'll get the old pump out and show you the It's only three bolts to take it out. It really, when I first did this, people were saying that it's a heck of a job, but I literally swapped the pumps in probably less than 20 minutes. It's really easy. Here's the old pump out of my 2010. You can see the three bolts you have to take out to remove it. The empty holes are the bolts. Try to get a good shot of that for you. So like I said, it's only three bolts. And then this is the hard line fitting I was talking about from the inspection window on the side. So as far as disassembly, it's really easy and it almost fell on my head when I pulled it out. Um, if you played the shapes game or Tetris as a kid, you'll be fine. If not, it's, yeah, I mean, it takes a little bit of finesse to get it in there. Um, you know, one of the biggest problems without, with not splitting it is crushing O-rings in the back. There are tons of, oh, try to get a good shot of this for lighting. There are tons of O-ring surfaces back here. You can see when they're there um, there's a, a large one actually you can see the crushed o-ring right there um yeah i actually the first time i put it in i smashed an o-ring had to take it all back apart and i was able to just put a little bit of grease around the o-rings and it kept them in place but that's probably the biggest risk with doing it blind um and let's see. yeah also on these tractors uh one thing to look out for when you put a new pump in them they they had this uh manual disengage here so when the tractor is cold the idea is that you flip this lever and it disengages it so that way the tractor starts easier um, the spring was worn out on mine and so it was disengaged when I put the new pump in and I thought the pump was instantly bad and I was very mad at myself but then I just uh, pulled a little harder on the lever and it, and it worked um, yeah so you can also I think this pump, my grandpa said he had the center section rebuilt in it. You can take this apart and uh, either have a new center section machine or I don't know how they do it. Um, but 2010s are so cheap, you really don't want to put a lot of money into them to begin with. You could probably buy a parts tractor for as much as, you know, having a, a new pump rebuilt would cost. 